Not of March the fourth. Two words: Phoenix tour, topping by Amitabha. Complementation of water and fire. Tip of true practice. Wake up in the morning. Immerse myself in stillness. Meditate and recite scriptures. When reciting the Diamond Sutra for the second time, a red light appeared in front of me, like the fiery red sun I had seen in the past few days. Warm red in color. My body suddenly felt waves and waves. There was a sense of ups and downs, and I felt like I was sitting on a phoenix flying again. In front of me, a bright world of white and golden light appeared to have once again arrived in the land of paradise. The seven elements tree, seven treasure lotus pond, water of eight merit and virtue, mandala flower. The content of the asterisk 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 sutra, which I had just memorized when I was learning Buddhism, is vividly presented, like a fairyland, mesmerized, flying to the center. The three saints of the West stand tall like Himalayan peaks, and I, who fly to their sides, am as small as a small stone. Just as I was about to make three turns on the right, I flew behind Amitabha Buddha and was caught by his bit and soft right hand, which held me in the palm of his hand and looked at each other for a long time. After a while, he lifted his palm in the opposite direction and placed his hand on my head to cool me down. As I happened to recite the general mantra of Diamond Sutra, I was illuminated by this refreshing and bright line that connected the void, making my body increasingly bright. Reciting the heart mantra of Root Guru, the master appeared in an empty and unmarked space, with more and more people gathered around him. The master seemed to be preaching, and behind him there began to emit five colors of light, just like what is said in the Ksitigarbha Sutra. He emitted white hair form light, large white hair form light, yellow hair form light, large yellow hair form light, red hair form light, large red hair form light, green hair form light, large green hair form light, blue hair form light, and large blue hair form light. Especially when it comes to the final blue glow, this blue is incredibly beautiful. It's truly breathtaking. The whole body, illuminated by blue light, was also washed away by the blue light, intoxicated for a long time and unwilling to leave. Reciting the heart mantra of Ksitigarbha Bodhisattva, the Ksitigarbha Bodhisattva appeared on opposite side and sat to the left of my master. The precious pearl in his hand emitted an infinite red light, illuminating a large audience in front of him. Reciting the general mantra of the Ksitigarbha Sutra, for some reason, the image of the Master's life reappeared before my eyes, who were eating lunch, sitting in front of the glass window, holding a bowl of simple noodles. I sat in front of the glass window, as if to repay Master, and began to splash the pearl into the void. A wave of sadness caused my body to emit an infinite white light. Master looked at everything with satisfaction, smiled slightly, and the white light on my body grew bigger and bigger. It was only when I saw that the white light completely surrounded Master that I was satisfied. During final dedication loop, all the light, including the Master, was retracted to the inner chakra of the body. This morning, I had some emotions. I didn't have the thrilling Zen state or the boiling sensation like B, only a deeper sadness than before supported me. In reality, I am still far from enough perfect, and the flaws of selfishness and self-interest need to be reflected upon. The naturally occurring compassion in meditation has always reminded me of all my shortcomings, making me increasingly yearn for the great compassion and the new world of Guan Yin Bodhisattva. May one day in the future, I will be like the compassionate of all kids Farah, and take the suffering of all beings as my own suffering, and the joy of all beings as my own pleasure.
Master One, Phoenix Tour, Talking by Amitabha, The Manifestation of One Senate of the West, Twenty Five Buddhas from All Directions, Supporting Guangming in the Ending Dharma Age, Two, One with Great Mercy, One with Great Passion, The Two Disciples, Tips of Water and Fire, Lotus Flowers in the Water with Seeds in Their Hearts, Flaming Fire, Astonishing the Soul. March the 4th, 2018. Note of March the 4th, Night. Key words, abnormality in the cemetery, with skeletons fused together. Tonight, I began with up offerings and down givings. I don't want to waste any of my precious meditation time. After washing the dirt inside and outside of my body with the sweet dew filled by master, I formed a pyramid mudra and sit upright. It also occurred to me master's admonition today, everything in this life can be given up, but this holy dharma cannot be abandoned in practice. Thinking of the master who is also waiting for us to succeed, all the obstacles have become foam. I just want to make the master happy as soon as possible. Reciting the Diamond Sutra today is different from usual. Sitting upright, I begin to drift in the dark space. A crow-like bird led me to a cemetery, surrounded by a wooden fence in front and a small door in the middle. I stopped floating about five feet above the ground in front of the door. Suddenly, Skeletons surged out of the dark cemetery in front of me, standing up in a strange posture and walking towards me. I was startled and quickly covered my body with a pyramid, calling out to Master. The Master arrived as scheduled, and I, covered in golden light, was no longer afraid. With the light emanating from my body, the skeletons walking towards me gradually disappeared. But why hasn't the front skeleton disappeared yet? He kept walking towards me, his heart trembling uncontrollably. The posture of the skeleton person limping over was still vivid in my mind. He walked over and sat with me, and I instantly transformed into a skeleton frame, slightly larger than my body. As a movie-like scene, a camera starts scanning the entire body of the skeleton from top to bottom, forcing me to carefully examine each bone part, the head and neck, shoulder and clavicle, arm bones, palm and finger bones, spine bones, chest ribs, pelvic bones, tail bones, thigh bones, knee bones, calf bones, heel and toe bones. Scan me up and down one by one and it's not as satisfying as usual when observing. Today, there's a camera taking a closer look at me. When reciting the general mantra of Diamond Sutra, a strong white light broke open my body into half. My left and right bodies were split apart by the light, and my body expanded and expanded like an explosion. Today, my skull finally felt split open. Reciting the heart mantra of Root Guru, the master observes all of this from a distance directly above. Okay, that means there is no error, and my heart is calm. Today's focus is on the two mantra of the Ksitigarbha. When reciting the heart mantra of Ksitigarbha Bodhisattva, the burning sensation that rushed up from the bottom was particularly intense, like an unstoppable forest spark spreading at a speed, directly surrounding my body with sparks. A heat from the heart chakra spread again throughout my body, and my pores opened rapidly. At the beginning, my somewhat cool body began to sweat, emitting heat from head to toe. When reciting the general mantra of the Ksitigarbha, the precious pearl at the Guanyin acupoint turned red and heated. With the sound of a crackle, 
the space instantly turned into a sea of fire, dyed red by the fire. The crackle echoed into the air, and the clouds were also dyed red. The dust in the air was also filled with a red aura. The body continued to be hot and scorching, and the body with Madra was surrounded by this sudden and intense heat, feeling a bit suffocated. But as soon as my thoughts fell, the white clothed bodhisattva carrying a treasure bottle floated up from the void and directly filled my head with cool and sweet dew water. Water and fire blended, moistening the upper reaches of the flames, as if the balance of yin and yang was sufficient, and my body returned to a cool and comfortable state. This warm and comfortable body heat maintained until the end, and after sitting down, the warm body felt like doing yoga for over an hour, and the rocks and feet were also very comfortable. Today I saw some people discussing skipping lunch. As for myself, I have tried to skip lunch several times before, but I have never been able to persist. Intermittent. Since Master gave me the mudra, all theories have to be put into practice. Although it is not yet possible to have a perfect lunch without food, the amount of food consumed is already very small. In less than a month, the person has lost weight as a whole, as if excess water has been excreted, and the body has become lighter, as described in the hypnosis method, all of which have been explained by Master. Please look forward to the continuous updates of the hypnosis method. Many people say that my waist suddenly becomes so thin, my stomach has also shrunk, and I am quite energetic. I replied, eat less than sleep less, haha, <laughs> but eating and sleeping less is not easy, thank master again. Master gave me a new life, and both rocks and sleep were subdued. Master leads me to new space, a dreamy, bright and wonderful place. Thank you. Master, as the saying goes, Guru Yoga list first. If one adheres to the principles of reason, he will be sure to receive blessings. Master, it's different in the cemetery where skeletons are fused, originally the gathering of sages and sages. Sage can't achieve without skeleton. The secret of the Holy Dharma is indescribable. 2. Harmony between water and fire is the true cultivation tip. Mantra and mudra quickly pass the middle meridian block. Ha ha ha, ha 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 ha, instruction by Ma Beiru Kanagoming on the evening of March the 4th, 2018.